So I would eat like a whole family size bag of chips, half a package of cookies, a large bowl of ice cream, chocolate, sometimes some more dinner leftovers. I woke up one day weighing 275 pounds. Oh my God, like I have to lose weight. I would start my day by going, okay, if I skip breakfast, maybe I can save some calories. But then at last minute, I would usually go, oh, maybe I should eat something. So if I didn't skip it altogether, I would like grab a chocolate bar on my way out. Or I would stop at Tim Hortons on my way to work and I would grab a chocolate chip muffin and a large French vanilla cappuccino thinking, okay, that's not much. It'll be enough to get me by. You know, I'd go to work and it was so quick digesting. By lunch, I would be starving. At lunch, I'd go, oh, I can probably push it. I really need to lose weight. I'm gonna just skip lunch. Or I would bring like a real small Tupperware container of like leftovers from the night before, which was usually quick digesting carbs like pasta or white rice and nothing to balance it out. Not really much protein, no veg, no fruit, no nothing with fiber. And again, quick digesting, and it would go right through me. By the time I would get home and get ready for dinner, my hunger had been building all day. And I'm thinking, okay, Nicole, you're doing so good. Now rein it in for dinner, you know, do the best you can because you're on the right track. And so for dinner, I'd already be hungry. So I would eat, you know, a, a large plate and then I'd be like, okay, this is not enough. I'm so hungry. So I'd have another one and then say, okay, that's it. No more food, you're done for the rest of the night. I'd finish like cleaning up after dinner, you know, get all my chores done, and then I would sit down on the couch to rest and watch TV for the rest of the night. All of a sudden, all heck would break loose. And I'd be like, what the heck? Like, I'm so hungry. Like, I did so good all day, but then I would reach for a snack to try to like fix my hunger, and I couldn't stop once I started. So I would eat like, a whole family size bag of chips, half a package of cookies, a large bowl of ice cream, chocolate, sometimes some more dinner leftovers. By the end of that, I would feel so overstuffed, I'd feel gross and then guilt would start to set in. I didn't understand what was happening. I was trying so hard to eat in a calorie deficit and lose weight by not eating much or skipping meals. And then I couldn't stop eating at night and I couldn't figure out what was the problem. And then what would happen is after I felt guilty about all heck breaking loose and eating everything, then I would start the cycle again. Okay, tomorrow morning, I'm gonna skip breakfast, lunch and try to right this ship. And every day would be the same until I gained more and more weight and I hit my heaviest, 275 pounds, and the weight started causing me serious health problems. I had sleep apnea so bad, I was stopping breathing seven times a night and I needed a CPAP machine to help me breathe when I was sleeping. I gotta figure this out. I, I can't, skipping meals isn't working. And I started looking and I, I was also a vegetarian at the time, but I wasn't eating to fuel my body for a vegetarian diet. There was literally no protein, no veg, no fiber, no fruit, nothing, no healthy fat, nothing that would balance out what I was eating. There was nothing wrong with what I was eating, but I wasn't eating enough food. I was only eating a little bit during the day, which was causing me to be so hungry at night because it wasn't enough to fuel me and my body and my activity. And then also I wasn't balancing out what I was eating. There was not really any nutrition there. Not being balanced, not eating much, and only eating quick digesting carbs. When you eat carbs or you're not eating all day like me, very, very little, as soon as you get that first bite of carbs, something called dopamine kicks in, which is like endorphins, like happy endorphins. And once you start eating, you can't stop. And I wasn't aware of the dopamine. Now that I look back and I see it, I'm like, wow, no wonder the hunger combined with like the dopamine spikes, no wonder why I couldn't stop. And here I'm trying to lose weight thinking I'm doing good. And then it turned into this big cycle. So I realized I was in this cycle because I was trying to lose weight and save calories during the day by eating less. 
So I ended up eating only like 500 to 800 calories during the day. And then when all heck would break loose at night, I would end up eating like 3000, sometimes more calories. And then I realized I could have just eaten 2000 calories spread out throughout the day. And that would have helped me, especially by adding in a balance of food. Once I realized that, I started applying these six fixes. This is what helped me stick to what I was doing and not feel hungry all the time. And I was able to lose 130 pounds and I've been able to keep it off for eight years now. My first fix was I stopped skipping meals, especially breakfast. I realized it was counterproductive. I thought that I was saving calories by skipping meals, but all that did was cause me to be so hungry at night, I ended up eating way more than I would have if I just ate a little bit at each meal. So I made sure that I started my day with breakfast. I wasn't really hungry in the morning when I was really overweight. It did take an adjustment, but I knew, you know, I started small and I built up to where I added like more protein, more volume to my breakfast but I realized it was really important even to eat just, you know, fruit at first, anything, just to start my day with something so that I wasn't starving throughout the day. That really helped. And then making sure that I ate something at each meal, that really helped me feel level throughout the day so that by the time I got home at night, I wasn't so hungry that all heck started breaking loose. Number two, I added protein to every meal. Protein lowers your hunger hormone called ghrelin. And I didn't know this at the time and I was barely eating any protein, protein can really help you stay fuller longer and be really satiated. So when I started adding it to every meal, I felt a world of difference. And actually I've been trying to lean out and I was noticing like I was getting really, really hungry the last like couple weeks. I added some egg whites to add protein in like with just a little bit of calories so that I could still be in a calorie deficit and lean out. Wow, I feel so much better having extra protein. It's keeping me fuller longer and I know I'll be able to go longer without like needing to overeat. Number three, I added fruit or veg or both to every meal. First of all, fruit and veg contain fiber. So it's gonna be slower digesting, which means you're gonna feel fuller longer, but also for very few calories, you get a very high volume amount of food when you eat fruit and veggies, which also fills up your belly, makes you feel like you're eating a lot and it makes you feel fuller longer. So that really helped. The friends, I also struggled with emotional eating along with my weight. You guys always ask like about that, how did I fix it? Well, I didn't fix it overnight. I had had to lose weight while working through that. And so this, this might not, you know, you might not fix this right away, but by doing fixes like these, where you're including a balance, where you're, you're getting yourself protein at every meal, this might help with the nutritional part, which will then help you stay a little fuller and it'll buy you a little bit of time to think about what you're doing, why you're eating if you're not hungry, why you're reaching for the food and get you thinking like, okay, if I'm still doing this, how can I fix it? Where am I lacking in my diet that I can tweak it to to help me through this piece. Number four, I ate small frequent meals and I spread them out throughout the day. So I started eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner and two snacks and I spread them two to four hours apart. And like I said, it was an adjustment at first, but I did get used to it and I eventually really liked it. And I still, you know, spread my meals out like that throughout the day. It really makes me feel level. And when I get to the next meal, I'm hungry, but I'm not starving. So I eat to fuel myself and I don't end up needing to overeat like I used to because I'm, you know, doing that balance and I'm spreading the meals out throughout the day. Number five, a balanced diet. So like I said, I barely was eating any nutrition at all. There's nothing wrong with carbs. I love carbs, I eat them all the time. But when I wasn't balancing them out and I was eating the quick digesting kind, it was going right through me and I didn't have anything to sustain in my stomach. So when I include protein, fruit, veg, healthy fat, slow digesting carbs mostly, but I do allow myself to eat like the quick digesting ones if I want them. I just balance them out with like a healthy fat or a protein or both. When I included all of that and some treats, that really helped me feel 
the best because I didn't feel deprived, like I was taking away food groups, so I didn't feel like I needed to overeat. Including a balance, making sure that I got every single food group was really important. And this might sound funny, but Kyle, my husband, camera friend, he has lost the same amount of weight as me and kept it off for the same amount of time. And we learned that we had to add another food group, treats. We learned anytime we took treats away, it backfired and it caused us to go in that cycle again of all heck breaking loose. And so we included dessert every single night um, for our whole journey. It started with, you know, a portion, half a cup of low calorie ice cream with two low calorie cookies. And wow, did that make a world of difference? Yes, every once in a while we give ourselves like the regular thing, but mostly we chose portion low cal treats and it made us look forward to what we were doing. It felt like we weren't dieting, like we could eat what we wanted. And that was so important for us. And we stopped listening to the people that demonize dessert yes. or treats um, because it was equally all parts, fats, carbs, protein, and dessert we're all equal now, all on the table, no bad, no good foods, just all equal. Exactly. And number six, how we did that was portion control. So we ate a balanced diet, including treats, but we portioned everything out. Numbers triggered my emotional eating. So I wasn't ready to count calories or track numbers in any way. So I used portion control. I looked on the backs of packages for the serving sizes on the nutrition labels and I used those as a guide to make a meal plan and that is how I was able to get calorie deficit eating the foods that I loved in balance and get the results that I wanted. So the friends, if you find yourself struggling, like you think that you're saving calories by skipping meals or by eating really, really low calorie, but you find yourself in the all heck breaking loose at night and you're wondering why you can't get out of that cycle, take a look at your diet. Are you getting a balance of nutrients? Have you taken something away that you really like that's causing you to go in that cycle? Are you skipping meals and you're st starving where you end up grabbing stuff and you can't stop? If there's something like that, take a look, try some of these things, even if you just start with one and know that it's not gonna be the, you know, fix everything all at once, but it will start helping you get on track with your nutrition, making sure you're eating balanced so that you're not lacking and having all these cravings and needing to eat and eat all the time and not feeling like you're ever full or satisfied. So I hope this really helped you. These fixes literally saved my life. My weight was causing me really serious health problems and finding something that I could stick to really, really helped. So I hope this helps anyone that's struggling out there. We love you guys. If you wanna know the exact meals and portions that I ate, I do have weight loss eBooks. Links are down below. Code Nicole will save you 10%. I also have Huddled HTLT Sups. These are the Seco Bar Plus flavors. Dirty Cookies and Cream and Caramel Toffee Crunch, and these are so good. They taste like a chocolate bar, but with less sugar and more protein to help you stay full. Code Nicole to save yourself 10%. I love you, the friends. You can do this. Slow and steady wins the race. Look at your diet, tweak it around, see if it will help you. Remember to give yourself more food throughout the day, spread it out, and that way it can maybe help you stop the all heck breaking loose at night. You can do it, cuties. I love ya. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this vid, please give it a thumbs up to help out the old algae rhythm, and I'll catch ya in the next one. Cuta Rooney. Peace. I love ya. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.